Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Grim Fandango. In the last video, we changed our clothes. I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, huh? Cocky ducky. Then answer me this one simple question. Huh. Okay, what are the odds in a million of Hector Lamans' slot machine paying out? <laughs> no way! Okay, I thought there might actually be. What? What kind of question is that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh, okay. If you were a cat, how many of you could Hector Lamans fit in his stomach? What? You're making up these questions. I'm sure it would seem that way to someone who doesn't know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh, okay. How many limos does Hector Lamans have in his garage? Thirty-six. <laughs> oh, what am I supposed to do with this? I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Okay, how many days after each dental appointment does Hector Lamans floss his teeth? One. <laughs> oh, Come sorry. on! <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, how old was Hector Lamans when he stole his first dollar? <laughs> this is so random! What? What kind of question is that? Oh, I guess you Jeez. don't know. Right. Oh, there are numbers behind us. Huh. Okay, how many times has Hector Lamans unsuccessfully run for mayor? 5, 8, 11, 13, 14, 17. Five. Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Too bad, I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamont. <laughs> what? So let's just pick a number off that stupid board. Ooh, let's go down here. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lamont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. Your travel agent. Oh, I have a travel agent already, but he's miles away mopping floors in an automat, so I suppose the position is open. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Eh, uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double-end tickets? This price seems much more than double. It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho. Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. Well, they cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? 
Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you. <laughs> Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so. This makeup breathes about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. I can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls a gun on you tonight, huh? I just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on in. Let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. Okay! So, I am an amazing salesman. But... I don't know who you are. And I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple. But stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here? Or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years. And frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I can really use a closer like you on the team. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr... My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, but Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get it myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the Campos pile. I... Interesting, I guess. Alright. That was a nice little reveal. I like that we ended up back where we started. No, I have to get to that suitcase before the tickets. No, I have to get to that suitcase before the tickets blow away. Screwed shut. Hello? Pigeons? Friends now? So I really didn't... <laughs> I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the legs pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor. I bet I could get over to the Telex. It's cracked, but still stronger than me. It's cracked, but still stronger than me. Huh. No, I want to be up on the ledge.
I want to try to do things with this. Let's try this first. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. And then this. And then this, apparently. I'm saving my ammo for the big guy. It's Sproutella, not Spackle. I don't want to mess up my blade. Alright. I think using that old gargle as a structural support for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea. Too steep to climb. So, we need to break that support somehow. I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the leg's pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor. But I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to break this support. I can't believe the liquid nitrogen isn't the thing. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. There can't be too much in here. I think using that old gargle as a structural support for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea. Unless it's just uh, supposed to bring to our attention that it it it's in bad shape, right? looks deserted inside. No, I have to get to that suitcase before the tickets blow away. Has a ton of options. I mean, that is her hand, right? If we look from the back, we can see it's her hand. Where she's leaning back. So the legs are over here. But why can't I climb the very obvious ladder? I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the legs pointed... Breaking the gargoyle, tipping the whole sign seems like it's the answer. They look bony to me, but she probably thinks they're fat. It's cracked. Too steep to climb. Too steep to... They look bony to me, but she probably thinks they're fat. They look bony to me, but she probably... I think using that old... Yeah, I mean... Structural support for Glamour Girl here if we broke idea. the arm and she tipped backwards, then the leg would be kicking up towards the other building. And our problem will be solved, but I don't know how to break that gargoyle. And I mean, if you if I try everything I have on the gargoyle, which I can. I'm saving my ammo for the okay. big guy. It's Sproutella, not Spackle. I can't believe liquid nitrogen is not the right idea here. I don't want to mess up my blade. I don't want to mess up my blade. There can't be two. I better. Well, so much for my third arm. 
so much for my third arm. Can't sprout that. Can't sprout that. Can't sprout that. See, why did these things not work when I was doing them before? Eventually. All right, when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.